We got some stuff. I'm not sure what. Let's see. Film, 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 film. What is that? What is that coming right at me, guys? We got our bottle. I saw something. I saw some puffer fish. Let's go. And there's other stuff. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be doing a fish trap. We're gonna be switching it up a little bit. We got a big old water jug right here, and I also didn't bring any bait with me. So before we find a good spot to place this thing, we're gonna have to go catch some bait for it, and then see what we catch inside this. Bunch of sand perch and stuff. Where'd those greenies go? You don't see them swimming anywhere? They were like right over here. I lost sight of the pilchards, but we got a bunch of sand perch in this area. Those would definitely work. We got some stuff, not sure what. Let's see, I definitely saw some flashing. Okay, okay, is that a baby snapper? Oh my gosh, baby snapper, so pretty. That would be so sick in an aquarium. I don't know what kind of snapper he is. It almost looks like a baby mutton or a baby lane. So cool though. We're gonna release this little guy. Oh, whoa, there he is. There he goes. Next up, we got little sand perch, really good bait fish. And now these guys were obviously gonna use dead so they don't swim out of the trap. We need some nice bait fish. Just like that. Oh, Sergeant Majors, baby Sergeant Majors. But that right there is really good bait fish. We got some sand perch. Definitely add these guys to the bucket. Now these guys, they're really, really pretty. So we'll probably not be using them for bait. They're more like a, an aquarium fish rather than a bait fish. So we'll take these two guys and release them back. There they go. There's tons of little fish. There's just a bunch of rocks as well. So you we don't want to get the net tangled up on there. And we got a rock. We got some stuff, but we do have a rock in here. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's a good sized bait fish. That was a good throw. I think we're clear of rocks. Should just get a bunch of bait, hopefully. Let's hope this is our last throw here. We don't have our own bait, so we're catching our own bait. Oh yeah, that's a good amount. I think this is where we're gonna drop the, the trap. We got a bunch of rocks, we got a bunch of fish swimming through the rocks. So what we're gonna do is load this trap up with the bait we got. We'll get them all in there. Let's find a good spot. Let's see. There's so many fish swimming through my feet right now. We got snappers, we got puffer fish, we got parrot fish, grunts, and I'm sure there's a bunch of invertebrates, possibly even eels and stuff in these rocks. Let's hope an eel doesn't come out and bite my big toe. We got a bit of a current, so we don't want this thing going anywhere. Good thing is we have a bunch of rocks around us to keep it in place. Trap is all filled up. Bait is at the bottom there. You can kind of see them in there i'm gonna put it right here oh that's literally perfect if this rock sits on top of it money we got the trap placed in a perfect location we got the front sticking right out it's all surrounded by rocks and fish and then we have a boulder to keep it in place so this thing does not move anywhere probably give this about an hour go grab some lunch and come back and see what's in it. Oh, oh, film, film, film. What is that? What is that coming right at me, guys? So we got one baby manatee and a mama manatee swimming about 20 yards away from us. So sick. If you don't know what a manatee is, basically think of like a sea cow, like a cow that lives in the sea. Oh, they're coming up. That's so sick. definitely gotten a lot higher of a tide. The water's a little murkier, a lot higher. Hopefully we can, there it is. Come on, 
Come on. Rock's still on top. We got our bottle. I saw something. I saw some. What is that? Puffer fish. Let's go. And there's other stuff. All right, I'm going to meet you at the beach. Holy cow. This thing's very heavy. Taking on a lot of water. But we got stuff. I'm just not too sure what exactly. I did see a puffer fish, though. Here we go. Watch this. Let's see what comes out. We got one puffer fish that I see, and then I see something other. I just can't tell what it is. We're about to find out here. There's some of our bait coming out. Come on. This bottle gives a weird, like, re oh, there's one of them. Look at him. Oh my gosh. Look at that little puffer fish. He's not blowing up. This, I'm pretty sure, is a leopard puffer fish. So pretty. Get him in the bucket there. Let's see what else we got in here. What is that thing? Is that a grunt? Look at them in the trap, though. Oh, it is a grunt or a pinfish. That is sick. Boom. Well, that right there is a little pinfish. Really, really cool. Get him in the bucket there. And then looks like another leopard puffer fish. Their texture is a crazy feeling, but they're known as toadfish and also leopard puffer fish. That's the best part about these traps. You One, you never know what you're gonna catch, and two, you don't even have to sit there and wait. You can leave it for hours. We've done 24 hour fish traps. Definitely not your normal fish trap, and it works. Look at the eyeballs on this guy. They're like red and green. So cool looking. There he goes. I'm assuming these two were together, so I'm gonna release them right next to each other. They're a schooling type of puffer, puffer fish. This is actually a known bait fish for it just being one of the best, but they are extremely pretty. I mean, look at the yellow lines and the blue. See ya, bud. Woo! If you guys wanna see a 24 hour fish trap in this very exact spot, like this video, get it to 10,000 likes, we'll come back and we'll place a fish trap in this exact location for 24 hours. As you guys just saw, one hour we caught three fish. So imagine 24 hours.